Today at ESC Congress, I just presented the results of the DAPA Act HF TIMI 68 trial, which was a large, randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trial of in-hospital initiation of the SGLT2 inhibitor dapagliflozin in patients hospitalized with a primary diagnosis of acute heart failure. In the trial, we randomly allocated people during their heart failure hospitalization to treatment with either dapagliflozin at a dose of 10 milligrams per day or matching placebo, and followed them for 60 days with a primary endpoint, which was, the t which was a composite of the time to cardiovascular death or worsening heart failure. The trial did not meet its primary endpoint, but there were important non-significant trends of lower risk of cardiovascular death or worsening heart failure and lower risk of all-cause mortality through two months in patients randomly allocated to dapagliflozin. And in a meta-analysis of three trials, which included the EMPULSE trial of empagliflozin, the in-hospital cohort of the soloist WHF trial, which was a study of sotagliflozin, and of course DAPA ACT HF TIMI 68, which was the largest contributor to the meta-analysis, we found that in-hospital initiation of SGLT2 inhibitors was associated with a 29% reduction in the risk of the composite of cardiovascular death or worsening heart failure, and a 41% reduction in the risk of all-cause mortality through uh, uh, in the early post-discharge setting. Given these findings, the totality of evidence really suggests that in-hospital initiation of SGLT2 inhibitors significantly reduces the risk of important clinical outcomes, including cardiovascular death or worsening heart failure and all-cause mortality uh, in patients who are hospitalized with a primary diagnosis of worsening heart failure.